Hey guys, this is Petals Pear from Cakevine.net and I'm just going to go over how to use the Lock At plugin. So for the most part, what you're going to be locking is chests. And to do that, you're just going to right click with a sign and hit done. And it will automatically fill out everything, the private and your name, all of that. So there are a ton of things that you can private. And when it's privated, nobody can break it, nobody can take anything from it. So to do that with these, you're just going to right click just as you did with the chest and it's going to automatically populate it. Works with trap chests, furnaces, all of this. The only one that's a little bit finicky is this brewing stand. You have to right click on this bottom piece. There we go. So if you want to add more users to your sign, say you want to let your friends have access to your items, you're going to right click on this sign and do slash lock that. Then the line number, which in this case is three, and I'm going to add absent, absentee to my chest. So when you've added a player to your private sign, they cannot break this. And Abs is going to try and break this right now. He's in creative. He can open it, but he can't break it. There, no, no, no. I can break this and remove the sign, but unless you're the person who's made it, you're not going to be able to break the sign. So the other thing, if you want to add even more users, say you have more than two friends, you're going to right click on another portion of the chest, it doesn't matter where, it could be on the back. You're just going to right click, click done, and it's going to populate it with this more users and everyone. Now, unless you want literally everyone to have access to your chest, you're going to want to edit this and get rid of that everyone. So you're going to right click and do slash lock at two. And then because I just don't want anything there, I'm just going to hit a bunch of spaces and hit enter and it's gone. So if I want to add another one, since it's already selected, it's not going to pop up that message. I can just do slash lock at two and we'll add Okay, and now he'll have access to that chest as well. You can do this as many times as you want for as many sides of the chest as there are. So you will be able to have up to 18 people on one double chest. And that goes the same with all of these. You can use the same thing for each of these items. Doors are a little bit different you have to put the sign either up here right above or you can place it right here and you're going to have to type it out. So you're going to put private in brackets. You don't have to put your name on there. You can just hit done and it will automatically fill in your name. Just like other ones, you can edit it to add another person. I'm going to add absentee. Okay, and you can also do this on double doors. You only need one sign. You just type it out like this, hit done. And when you open these double doors, it's going to open both of them and close both of them. Everything that works for wooden doors also works on these iron doors. So you just do the same thing, hit done. With iron doors, when you have a private sign on it, you don't need a button or a lever to open them. You can just right click them as you would a wooden door. To do these trap chests, or um, to do these trap doors, you're just going to have to put it on an equal level with the trap door. So in this case, I'm placing it on top of this block and then typing private. and then you can delete this block. One of the really cool things that you can do with Lockat is add timers to your doors. So to do that, you're just gonna right click to select the sign, type out slash Lockat. I'm gonna put this on the bottom line. To do a timer, you do bracket, timer, colon, and then the number of seconds you want it to take to open or close. So in this case, I'm gonna do two seconds. 
Now when I do this, after I open it, it's going to automatically close again. Yep, just like that. So with the timers, you do run into some issues sometimes, usually caused by lag. So one of them is that you have this problem. It's going to open again. My door will not stay shut. What do I do? So you're going to look at the door. And then you're going to type slash, lock at, fix. And then hit enter. And the door will shut. And now the timer is fixed. With double doors, you often run into this issue. This one doesn't even have a timer on it. But if I try and do this, it's just going to keep switching the doors back and forth. So what you're going to want to do is do the same thing. Look at the door and type slash, lock at, fix. Okay, so that's it for the lock at plugin. We always recommend that you private everything you can, especially if it's in the wild, because here at Cakemine, if it isn't privated, it's public. Thanks, guys.